Right, to help us unpack this further, we are now joined by News24 reporter Malibongwe Daimani. Malibongwe, good evening and thank you very much uh, for your time and joining us tonight. First and foremost, I mean, what, what uh, uh, we, we do know is that this has been an ongoing investigation uh, into this uh, uh, conferring of qualifications scam at Fort Hare University. But what uh, uh, drove you to take a closer look at uh, the newly appointed minister? Thanks so much, Tabo. <clears throat> well, uh, Tabo, uh, remember this is just the latest development uh, of what began in May 2020 when the University of Fort uh, suspended its head of the public administration department uh, at the Apisho campus, Professor uh, Edwin Ijeaoma, on allegations that uh, she had. Um, admitted uh, the former MEC of, of Health in the Eastern Cape, Oma Musindi Swagomba, for an honours degree without uh, a junior degree. Well, so um, after that, we, we, we saw the, the university uh, removing uh, MEC Gomba from, 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 its, from the programme, and, and after um, a year later, it removed uh, uh, Mr. Oscar Maguiane, who is the current... Uh, a premier of, of, of the Eastern Cape, as well as the chairman of the ANC in the Eastern Cape, from a master's program on allegations that uh, he had um, fraudulently or, or, or registered for master's without having met the minimum requirements. And, and, and on both cases, the, the link um, was this professor, uh, Ijaoma, who was sort of a common de denominator on, 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 on both cases here we are talking about. So after that, the university, um, the university's investigation sort of deepened and uncovered that, in fact, uh, the this scandal was much, much deeper and referred it to the president who then um, authorized uh, the SIU to investigate. So, uh, sometime last week, I got uh, a call uh, from, from, from one of my uh, sources informing me that uh, actually uh, the, the newly sworn in uh, minister, uh, there's an avidavit uh, which was uh, assigned by a senior official at the university and submitted it to the, to the, to the SIU. Uh, alleging that uh, she obtained her honours and masters um, without uh, uh, an undergraduate degree. Yeah. So that that it, it's the university itself that has reported the, the the minister to to the SIU. What 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 is revealed in this uh, affidavit? If you you've had sight of it. Mm, definitely, uh, news 20, as news twenty four, we we are in possession of the affidavit. Well, um, basically, it alleges that uh, there's no proof uh, that uh, Ms. Kivit had uh, an RPL, a recognition of prior learning uh, in her position, and all they can see, they can find in the, in, in the university's records uh, is a metric certificate and, 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 and a short course uh, a certificate which was not enough to guarantee her uh, a place, you know. In terms of the points, it, it did not even um, accumulate points for her to, to make it into the program, the, the honours program. And it also, the, the certificate was sort of uh, very dodgy. It, it had, it, it had, had handwritten results. And yeah, and and her CV was slammed basically in the in the affidavit as as being vague and not contributing to to anything uh, as far as uh, career progression. Right, and 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 as far as the the SIU's investigation, what, what areas are they going to be covering? Look, at the SIU at the moment is tight-lipped. Because they told me that the investigation is at a, a sensitive stage, and the fact that it's still ongoing, they don't want to divulge anything to the media. 
in uh, in case they jeopardize the case. Um, but uh, yeah, so far we we, we don't really know uh, w- what stage the case in is in. Um, all we know is that once the, the the investigation is finalized, it will then be taken to to the president uh, with with recommendations as well. But uh, when we spoke to the university yesterday, they did uh, confirm that they continue submitting these uh, these type of evidence to the SIU in their efforts to to help uh, clean up the institution. Yeah. So you spoke to the minister as well, and uh, what, what was her response? Is she at all um, uh, worried? Did she sound like she's worried? She's annoyed. She's angry about uh, your reporting, or is, is she quite okay with it? Oh, she, she's a very professional woman. She was not uh, annoyed at all. She did not run away from me, despite the fact that I had sent her messages. And, 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 and made several, uh, a phone call, a follow-up phone calls, which she picked up. And, um, but in, in a short statement she later sent to me, which went on record, she dismissed the allegations, um, saying that, uh, everything is above board. She obtained her qualification, registered and obtained the qualifications, uh, lawfully. You know. But what is interesting is that uh, it's the university, you know, uh, her own university that is distancing uh, uh, itself from, from, from her and, and, her, and her two degrees. Yeah. It's, the, it's the university that wrote to the SIU and alleged that those two qualifications may have been obtained uh, fraudulently. Did, did she expand to you on her process that she followed to be admitted into the program, uh, the university process that she, she, she would have followed and, and how she met the criteria? No, 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 not at all. Her response was very short. Uh, but but uh, what's notable is that she's, she's saying she's prepared to, to assist the SIU in their investigation. And we will see how that goes. Yeah. No, certainly. It looks like uh, there will be, of course, other processes as well, including a PAIA application that the, the other parties, I think the Democratic Alliance is, is also going to, uh, to go into to try and get more details. But Malibongwe, Daimane, I appreciate your time. and Thank you very much uh, for coming on tonight uh, with us uh, here on In Focus. Malibongwe Daimane, he is the News 24 reporter who's been following uh, this story of uh, the uh, conferment of a degree uh, to the minister, which uh, uh, it does seem to have not followed the proper processes. But she, of course, in her statement says that uh, she is um, uh, sure that uh, uh, there is um, uh, enough proof that is available, how she got accepted into the uh, program, and that she followed all the necessary uh, processes of admission, one that, uh, of course, is continuing to be investigated.